My name is Kelsey Timby, and I'll be discussing the use of focus ultrasound for the treatment of diabetes. Why are we interested in treating diabetes? Diabetes has become a pandemic. Currently, nearly 400 million people worldwide have diabetes, which equates to nearly 1 in 11 adults. Additionally, the prevalence of diabetes has nearly doubled in the past 30 years and just continues to increase. Patients with diabetes are divided into one of two types. Type 1 diabetics account for approximately 10% of the patient population, while 90% of the patients are type 2 diabetics. Type 1 diabetes is typically sudden onset in patients under the age of 18, whereas type 2 diabetes is a gradual onset, with most patients being diagnosed over the age of 45. In order to understand the biology of diabetes, we need to understand how blood sugar levels in the body are regulated. When you eat a meal, your food is converted into sugar, which is utilized as fuel by all the major organs of the body. In a normal healthy metabolism, as the levels of sugar in your bloodstream begin to drop, you feel tired and hungry, which triggers you to eat a meal. This food is converted into sugar, which is released into the bloodstream. This in turn triggers the pancreas to produce insulin, which is also released into the bloodstream. Insulin effectively acts like a key, allowing your body's organs to absorb sugar out of the bloodstream and utilize it as fuel. After eating, you then feel re-energized. The liver also plays an important role in blood sugar metabolism. After you've eaten and been refueled, your liver removes excess sugar from the bloodstream and stores it for later use. As your blood sugar levels begin to drop in between meals, the liver is then able to release some of this stored sugar back into the bloodstream. This allows your blood sugar levels to remain at a relatively constant state throughout your day. So what goes wrong in diabetes? In type 1 diabetics, the pancreas is no longer able to produce insulin. This means that the body's organs are no longer able to absorb sugar out of the bloodstream, either to store it or to utilize it as fuel. This causes very high blood sugar levels. Currently, type 1 diabetes is considered incurable, but the symptoms can be managed by providing an external source of insulin. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is still able to produce and release insulin. However, the body's organs have gradually become insulin resistant, which means that they are less efficient in their use of insulin to absorb sugar out of the bloodstream. Similar to type 1 diabetes, this means that the organs are unable to utilize sugar for fuel and the liver is incapable of storing sugar. This also results in high blood sugar, but the patient continues to feel tired and hungry even after eating because their body cannot effectively use the sugar. Type 2 diabetes can be reversed if the insulin resistance that has developed in the body can be decreased. Now that we understand a bit more about the differences in the biology and the prevalence between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, it is clear that preventing the development of type 2 diabetes could have a significant impact worldwide. In the US alone, nearly 84 million adults, or more than a third, have prediabetes, which means they have developed some form of insulin resistance that is not yet se severe enough to be considered diabetes. How does focus ultrasound play a role? Recently, a dynamic collaboration between academic researchers and industry released a paper demonstrating that focus ultrasound can prevent or reverse insulin resistance in preclinical models of diabetes. The researchers applied low power focus ultrasound to the liver. This in turn interacted with the nerve circuitry connecting the liver and the brain that controls blood sugar metabolism. The focus ultrasound was effectively able to reset the circuitry, reversing insulin resistance that had developed in these diabetic animals. Animals treated with this focus ultrasound protocol had their blood sugar levels returned to within a normal healthy range. 
When these results were published, the industry partner, GE, issued a press release highlighting the clinical significance of the results and also announcing the opening of a new clinical trial designed to test this protocol in human patients with type 2 diabetes. The researchers believe that a single three-minute treatment once a day is capable of reversing insulin resistance and maintaining normal blood sugar metabolism in patients. We are very excited about the potential effects of this treatment and look forward to the results of the clinical trial. Thank you for your time and attention.